Welcome, Ben Mama. Hello everybody, Kieran A.K. The Laird here and I have a really, really cool video for you today and this is one that I've actually been wanting to make for absolutely ages and um, I uh, it was on my list and then uh, when I was looking down my list of videos that I still had to make, I thought this would make an ideal video for Christmas. Um, I'll explain why in a moment. But uh, as you could see, it's uh, Usborne Books here, the website that we're on. And uh, those of you who grew up with a home computer in the 80s will have no doubt had one of these Usborne books or got them from the library. Myself, I never actually owned any of them myself, but um, my school had them all. So I used to borrow them from the school regularly. They had every single one, and I remember all of these, and I remember borrowing them and typing in the programs out of them and everything and uh, all my friends did as well they, these books are absolutely legendary and in, you know in the various computer groups that I'm in on uh, Facebook people talk about these books all the time and then somebody mentioned not so long back that Usborne had made all these books available for free I mean actually it says they're from the 25th of November 2021 so it seems to have been that way for quite a while but it seems that hardly anyone knows about this so I thought it'd be really cool to make a video to let you all know about it because I'm sure there's lots of people out there me included who want to download them or I already have of course so how does it link into Christmas? Well, obviously, a lot of people would have got these books for Christmas, whether it had been with their computer, it be a ZX Spectrum or a BBC Micro or a Commodore 64, um, VIC-20, whatever it was. Um, but a lot of people would have got these books with their computer or perhaps they would have just got these books um, later on, you know, as gifts or whatever. But um, there is a connection there to Christmas and that's why I wanted to put them in here. So as you can see, as I scroll down the screen... All of their books from the 80s are here. And, you know, it's really nice that Usborne, who are still going, of course, making books for kids, have done this. They've they've recognised their legacy and how many people are nostalgic for their old books. And they've put them all out here to download. I mean, look, you've got these ones. Practice your basic, better basic, computer control robots, computer model controllers, keyboards, computer music, experiments with the, your computer. And then they've got their specialist programming books here. Programming Tricks and Skills, Machine Code for Beginners, Computer Programming, Basic for Beginners, Practical Things to Do with a Microcomputer. And then the ones that are purely games-based, so we've got Computer Spy Games, strange category, but yeah, uh, weird, weird computer games, so they, they, they were quite strange with their categories here, weren't they? Creepy Computer Games, Computer Battle Games, Computer Space Games, those two I remember really well. I remember typing in several programs out of those those in on the the spectrum in fact i remember doing it in the bbc's at school as well i used them on those as well and then these adventure game books so write your own fantasy games write your own adventure programs uh island of secrets and mystery of silver mountain and these ones for beginners for uh, younger kids so yes these are all their books so we've got all the adult ones the kids ones the games ones the more serious ones, um, all there. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20, 20, 22 books there. I mean, how good is that? 22 books that you can download. I love the way this part, this part cracked me up. These books were written for 80s computers such as ZX Spectrum and BBC Micro. The programs will not run on modern computers. <laughs> for any inquiries, please email us at help at Usborne. The um, thing is, they actually will run on model computers if you're using an emulator. So that's not actually completely true, is it? You could type them in on an emulator if you wanted to. But what I've done is, I've down, I've, so I've already downloaded all of these books. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch to um, some PDFs and we will have a look at a few of these, uh, shall we, uh, to give you um, some memories of, of what they were like. Okay, so here we are. I've got computer space games up first because this is such a nostalgic one for me. So this one says it's for ZX81, ZX Spectrum, BBC, TRS-80, Apple, Vic and Pet. So it covers a really wide range of different computers as well. I mean, um, I said about growing up with these in the UK. I'm not sure if they were released in the US. Um, please tell me if they were. Um, but not that I know of because they do tend to concentrate on 
the British computers like the Spectrum and BBC. But they're, you know, it's got Apple in there, and Apple was nothing in the UK. No one owned apples, so um, it seems strange for Apple to even be there. But um, but yeah, um, I sh- I don't assume they probably were available in some other countries, but certainly not that I know of. So on the contents there, we've got obviously a list of all the different games, and you can skip to the bits for your computer. So what you used to do was that you'd have some common bits that were for all, and then um, you know individual bits for each computer. So when you we were going through, you had to be careful to to get the bits that were for your computer. And one thing that I loved about these books was um, when I got them uh, was you see that when it starts showing you the programs, it explains what everything does. So that, that's such a good way to learn basic because you're typing it in with explanations that tell you what you're typing in, you know, how, how that affects the program and what it does to your computer, etc. It's a really good way to learn, um, you know, how, how it all works. So there, so you'll see, it's got all these different programs. Um, so the above listing workers, LX81, for other computers make the changes below. You see, see it, it's got changes that you need to make depending on what, what home micro it is you're using, whether it's BBC or Spectrum. I mean, obviously a lot of basic is, is pretty similar. Um, but obviously there are differences between different dialects, whether it's BBC Basic or Sinclair Basic or Commodore Basic or whatever. So, yeah, you've got all these great programs, Asteroid Belt there, Trip into the Future. And and these programs as well, I think was a good thing, is they're quite short. And, um, you know, and when you're a kid... Uh, and you're first learning this stuff you don't have the patience to type in some absolutely massive um, program you know uh, and so the, the fact they kept them short I just think w- was was great as well and the reason why these books were so successful uh, another thing I want you to point out is you might notice that with these it has the little symbols next to them so that's basically to show you what formats because if you remember at the beginning it had a you know a, a symbol for each each format so that's to show you which format that part of the listing is for they've got quite a long one there so this is these whole listings here so write your own program so lots of hints and tips and how to change the programs and it explains loads of the commands in detail here as well at the back. I mean, brilliantly, brilliantly educational book. Um, look, they've got the ASCII chart there for the different um, computers. Um, the, it's, it's just really, really comprehensive. These were great. Um, so that's our first first one. We'll have a look at a couple more, but that's computer space games. We'll have a look at one that's not game space now, so bear with me a moment. Okay, so now I've got experiments with your computer. So this one actually doesn't say on the cover what computers it covers. It just says with lots of programs and things to do. So this hasn't been explicit in what computers you should use it with or anything like that. It's just, uh, you know, it seems quite generic when you first see the cover. But then when you get into this part, it does actually get quite specific. So it says they are designed for home computers and run on the Commodore 64, VIC-20, TRS-80 colour computer, Apple II, BBC, Electron and Spectrum. So quite a wide range again of uh of different formats so this has got all sorts of little add-ons and stuff look look designing a rocket for example uh and it's obviously got all the same things about how to use your your programs um the differences between the different computers the coin tossing program random number generators kind of thing bouncing balls how to plot things on the screen all sorts of things like this so a lot of problem-solving kind of uh, listings in this one. Economic models, running an airline. So these are kind of simulation programs. And then this is how to. This is the, making a sensor that you can be read by your computer as well using the different ports. So then it does get into really technical stuff like soldering and modding and stuff. So the really serious home computer users would get a lot out of this book. This is kind of a step up from the other one, really. You know, not so much aimed at the younger children, but more up, much older children who could do things like soldering and stuff like that. And then it's got 
here at the back actually it says some of the other books Usborne books lasers robotics i remember these ones as well i remember the robotics one especially i remember the audio and radio one actually as well i remember looking at that one and uh, films and special effects but i think i might have had the films and special effects one myself funnily enough um so there's that book and we'll have a look at one more Okay, so now we've got practical things to do with a microcomputer. So, programs and projects for beginners. Uh, so, this is quite a similar kind of thing, I suppose, to the last one in many ways. Um, but this is aimed a bit more at, at people who have just got a computer because it explains things like, you know, what a printer is, what a disk drive is, what joysticks are, Atari joysticks there, uh, which is quite funny because these books don't seem to be aimed at Ataris at all. Uh, light pen, etc. Um, controlling robots uh, it talks about things like bugs in programs so this is, is this more of a bit of a simple one there so there's a you can create a program there to talk to you early early chat gpt there in action quiz master word processing uh, learning french uh, finding averages sorting data uh, doing codes uh, how to do user-defined graphics on the screen so this is a really, really good book, this one. A Downhill Racer Game. I remember typing that one in. Definitely remember typing that one in. Horoscope Generator. All sorts of stuff in here. Computer Poet, using tapes and discs. Simple circuits to build. Looking up LEDs and robots and stuff like that with a complete guide of how to do everything not just a computer but how to build the robot and all of that um break down in terms of different for different bits for different computers there that you might have to add in your index and obviously all the other stuff about the bits and pieces there so yeah um i've had a look at three i could i could easily quite easily sit here and go through all of them but that'd be quite a boring video and i'm sure you'd like to to go through them all yourself but as you can see um, absolutely brilliant that these books from Usborne are available. So if you want to get some real nostalgia this Christmas and uh, memories of growing up with a, a home computer like me and being fascinated by everything you could do with it, which just seemed amazing at the time, um, absolutely mind-blowing some of the things that you could do, then um, you know, you're going to have a lot of fun downloading these and reading them. And if you're not familiar, um, but obviously you remember those times and I think you might find them quite interesting as well. But um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed my look at these uh, these books and um, I hope you um, go and get them and enjoy them. And uh, as always, um, I thank you for watching. I've been The Laird and I'll see you all again for another video very soon. Bye bye.